So here in Final Cut Pro, we're gonna have a look at how we can track the playhead along the timeline in Final Cut Pro when we're zoomed into our timeline. So you can see here, when we click play, basically our playhead is gonna move along and because we're zooming to fit the whole timeline here, we're gonna see it as it moves through our entire edit. Now, if we are zoomed in on our timeline, then you'll find that quite quickly, the playhead will move off screen. Now, if we wanna find the playhead again, we can simply pause and our timeline will recenter on the playhead, so it's really easy to find it. But if we want that timeline to keep moving as we're playing through our edit, then there's a couple of ways of doing this. So the first is you can see I'm moving my timeline here with uh, my mouse, so it's one of the Apple mice, and we can scroll along the timeline here. I can also use the trackpad on my laptop, so using the two finger touch, I can quickly scroll along my timeline, and that's nice because I can jump between using one finger to move around or two fingers to scroll the timeline. Now, if we select the timeline here and come back to the beginning of our timeline, then you'll see there's one more tool that we can use to do this, and that is the hand tool. So we can tap H to select the hand tool. So if you have a regular mouse, then this may be a good way of doing that, and you can click and hold and drag along your timeline. So between those three tools, if we're playing on our timeline, we're nice and zoomed in, we can move between using the hand tool to keep things centered, we can use the scroll on our mouse, or on our trackpad to keep things centered as we're playing through our edit. And then if we do lose the playhead, we can hit the space bar and that will recenter us. And then we can use the hand tool or the scroll on our mouse or trackpad to kind of reposition where we wanna have our timeline before we start playing again, and then keeping that playhead centered. So that's a quick tip for working in Final Cut Pro for moving quickly along the timeline. If you have any questions about Final Cut Pro, then please do leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.